I just want to give a special shout out to my boy Official Impact for helping me get this reaction out there for y'all. I appreciate you, bro. Let's go. Shout out to World Class Lifestyle. You already know what it is, man. Squad. I shot the crap out of my play dice, and you can go visit their grave site. It ain't no debate. It's only heavyweight, and I'm sunning these niggas. Yeah, daylight. Let them up, put them down. Call it sunset. Known to bang with two sticks like a drum set. What up, y'all? Welcome back to World Class Lifestyle. And today we are reacting to Official Impact. Hold on, hold on. Official Impact. My bad. Gun Convo, the official music video. Let's get straight to it. I want to give my boy Official Impact congratulations on a big 100K. You know what I'm saying? Keep it, keep it up, my nigga. I'm proud of you. No cap. Let's go. Oh, shit. Gun Convo. The North Face. The North Face. Conversations with a gun like, are you my friend or my enemy? Oh, shit. Are you the cause of my jealousy? Do you protect me from jealousy? Ooh. Are you the worst or... Okay, yeah, we gotta put this in the lap. Fuck that. But, um, that, that's some real ass shit. He said, are you my friend or my enemy? That's the, hey, hold on. We, gonna, we gotta do a lot of shit. Get prepared for this one. Gotta lift this up. I know my dumb ass gonna be lifting these shits right back down in a little minute. I just need arm space and shit. But um, yeah, he said, "Are you gonna protect me from jealousy?" That's that's some real ass shit. Like, are you gonna protect me from these envious ass niggas, these jealous ass motherfuckers? Like, hey, it's a good and a bad thing. No cap. Do you protect me from jealousy? Are you the worst or the better me? Do you love me? Do you hate me? Would you kill me or would you save me? Are you freedom or are you slavery? Do you make me or do you break me? I, I guess we gotta start it on the bad side. Like the album you took to Pat's life. Enough bloodshed up in that. See, 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 see. Hold on, my nigga. Hold on, hold on. Like the album you took to Pat's life. Okay, Enough okay, okay. Two, two pot. Okay, I, I just wanna let y'all know while y'all are watching this and shit. Different countries. So like whenever I'm listening, I may have to retake that shit because I'm like, hold on, what did you just say? You know, I got a homie. Whenever I be live and shit like that, he be like, hold on, what you just said? I didn't understand what you said. Now I have to say it again and shit like that mainly because, you know, he didn't understand what I said because we from two different countries and shit. But damn, that was so off topic. Don't even y'all ain't. I'm sorry. But um, real shit though. He said, he talking about the gun. He said, you took Tupac's life. He said, like the album. I don't get that part of the bar and shit like that. But he said, you took Tupac's life and y'all know, rest in peace, Tupac. I like it, I like it. And then he did say we gotta start on the bad side. I heard that at the beginning. Start on the bad side, bad side. Like the album you took to Pat's life. Enough bloodshed up in that city. After Shakur, man, you took the boy Biggie. Had his own franchise. Then you took Nipsey. Even Marvin Gaye got taken by the Strizzy. Even John... Ooh, okay, 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 okay. See, I don't, see he, he, it seemed like this one. He just naming people who, you know, who was lost. Way too soon. First, he said he said after Shakur, that's Tupac, Tupac Shakur. He said he said after Shakur, you took the boy Biggie. He had his own franchise, and then you took Nipsey. Damn, rest in peace to Biggie. Rest in peace to Nipsey. No cap. God damn, bro. We getting deep up in this motherfucker. And who else he say? Fuck, I don't know. Shit, we finna see. Damn, I didn't load my shits up, so this shit may be on some boy. How y'all doing? My shit fucked up. Shit, who gonna buy me a new computer? Shit. I love it, but shit, it be acting like a little bitch. I know y'all heard me hit the space bar, and this shit still fucked up. Oh, maybe I just gotta hit play. Fuck. John Lennon, rock and roll legend. Hold on, Bullet John gay Lennon. got taken by the Strizzy. Even John Lennon, the boy Biggie, had his own franchise. Then you took Nipsey. Even Marvin Gaye got taken by the Strizzy. Even John Lennon, rock and roll legend. Bullets ain't racist, proof in the weapon. Hey, that's some real ass shit. Hold on. I might just have to, like, do something. Because I'm not like how this video was playing through. It's kind of choppy. I don't like that shit. But he said, some, he said uh, Marvin Gaye. Speaking of fucking Marvin Gaye, I was I heard a song. I forgot what my nigga Montana said. What the fuck happened to Marvin Gaye? Like, did he kill himself? It's either he killed himself or I think it's fucking or his dad. Because my nigga Montana said something about he said a bar and then he said marvin gay name i forgot what the bar was but he said it and he said something i think his dad killed him i'm not sure but y'all let me know if y'all know about that y'all let me know what happened to marvin gay and shit because um who the fuck 
Um, but yeah, y'all let me know what happened with him because um, I, I really want to know. I know my, my nigga Montana said something about it, but I just can't really recall. I can't connect the shits right now. Cause I'm kind of slow. But um, yeah, and he said he said Marvin Gaye, and he said uh, John Lennon. He said rock and roll legend. Hey, rest the, if if this is gonna be one of them songs where he naming a whole bunch of people and shit like that. Rest in peace to everybody. He say, no cap, shit. Then you took Nipsey, even Marvin Gaye got taken by the Strizzy, the even John- is Why is it part like, bro, hold on, bro, we gonna reset this shit? Cause, not reset the reaction, but just, hold on. Oh, shit, alright, I'm back. I think this shit is working, I don't know. That shit just made me mad. Put that shit back down, alright, let's go. Nipsey, even Marvin Gaye got taken by the Strizzy, even John Lennon, rock and roll legend, bullets ain't racist, proof in the weapon, took pop smoke. That shit right there. Bullets ain't racist, it's proof in a weapon. I like that shit. Proof in a weapon of the fucking, yeah. uh, like, it, it, the bullets come out the shit, mm, they ain't racist. But maybe the people who's controlling this shit is. See what you're trying to say, my nigga. Rock and roll legend, bullets ain't racist, proof in the weapon, took pop smoke, triple X on his tape, just goes to show bullets don't have an age, took away Lincoln. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, shit, hold on, I'm, I'm not even trying to explain, you just want to listen. Bullets ain't racist, proof in the weapon, took pop smoke, triple X on his tape, just goes to show bullets don't have an age, took away Lincoln. I think he said took pop smoke. And then I know I heard X. My nigga X, rest in peace, X. Rest in peace, pop smoke. Damn. He said that just goes to show that it, hey, them shits ain't got no age. It ain't got no age at all. Like it'll take like all of the excuse me, I burp all of the people that we lost young the gun violence and shit like that. It shows that it ain't got no age. I don't give a fuck how old you is, you know? You be two and that shit taking you. You know, it, it just Depends on the situation where you at. All that type of you could be at the wrong. You could be at the wrong place at the wrong time, and it's sad. It's crazy. Lincoln and JFK, status or rage? No, you don't discriminate. Senator Stevens helped free the slaves. Got taken away by the KKK. I was my best. Where was you that day? Could have been the victor. Help save the day. King. Facts. Took my brother Malcolm, was a real like leader. He Malcolm appealed X. to the thousands. Took Walter okay. Rodney for the very same reason. Two pack and Nixie done it all through teaching. This is all facts, is nothing but truth. Eminem felt it when he took his boy proof. Pop smoke, yay. And he about to say something about pop again. God damn. Hey, look, I don't know about um. I don't know about proof that much, but I do know my little brother. He's like the biggest Eminem fucking fan that I know and shit like that. So I, I do know of proof, like you know the the circumstances and shit like that. The little I know a little bit. I know I just know that he 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 was taken away from us because I've heard Eminem rap on it and shit like that. But it's crazy. He brought Eminem. Can you know Eminem feels some type of way about that shit? You know, just guns down, man. Hands up, shit. Why don't you just fight that shit out? See who who the realest nigga fight. Shit, put the put them guns down, hands up. Nothing but oh. truth. Eminem felt it when he took his boy proof. Pop smoke, yeah, he had so much potential. Why Facts. couldn't you Facts. let him see his credentials? And his voice is different. Four fires, AKs and handguns, double barrel shotguns and the magnums. Are they good ones or are they bad ones? Matter of perspective is how you see that one. Four fires, AKs and handguns, double barrel shotguns and the magnums. Are they good ones or are they bad ones? Matter of perspective is how you see that one. But you've had a lot of good times. You saved the life of a lot of good guys. Let's start with the leader of the army. Shot three times, he survived Mark Garvey. The next one's crazy to say. Nearly got fabulous and his fabulous ways. Low soul, they hit hey, Mr. I, I like this. Because I'm starting to see what you're doing. I'm starting to see what you're doing. He said something about fabulous. I uh, see. I'm, I'm learning something. He said something about but the person in the army. I don't, I don't even know who the fuck that is. But he said something about the person in the army and shit like that. I'm learning, you know, through your music and shit like that. And then fabulous. He said something about fabulous. Like, and like I said, I like what he's doing because at the beginning he started with the bad and then he went to the good. So, my boy, official impact. You one of those that like to hear the bad news first and then the good news because that's what it seems like you're doing. You know, because I'm one of those. Give me the bad news. Because every single time somebody be like. 
You want the bad news or the good news? I'll be like, motherfucker, just tell me the bad news first. They tell me the bad news. The bad news be all, bad news always be worse than the good news. I'd be like, my nigga, you shouldn't have told me this shit at all. I'm just like, but real shit though. I like what he's doing here because like it's different perspectives and shit like that. So like he going to this side of the shit, the bad side of it, and then now he's talking about how he says something about the dude in the army or something like that. I don't know who it is, but I'm guessing the gun saved his life. And he said something about fabulous. I'm guessing the gun saved his life. It's crazy. I like it. Three times he survived Mark Garvey. The next one's crazy to say. Nearly got fabulous and his fabulous ways. Fabulous, Low soul, they hit ways. Mr. Nice. And they even shot up Vanilla Ice. Nine times, yeah, they nearly took my, 50. My Ooh, see, he 50 in this bitch. Ooh, I like it. Because y'all know 50 top 10 all the time. I just got to say that. Top 10, top 10 all the time. Um, And then he said Vanilla Ice. Hey, man, damn, Vanilla Ice. Hey. But like I said, he's showing this is the good side of the song. You know, the the it, it helped save. And then I remember I forgot who who said that shit. Was it Drake? If the bullets or was it it was Kendrick Lamar or Drake? It was one of them niggas who said, if the bullets were reversed, we wouldn't have lost a legend. Or soon to be legend. We wouldn't have lost any of them. Because it think of, but then again, if you're thinking about this side of the song, like that first side, all right, yeah, that's facts. If the people who were shooting at the at the legends and shit like that. If they guns were like flipped and then the shit just shot backwards and shit, the bullet shot backwards, we wouldn't have lost no legend. But think about if these artists, like he said, fabulous, and then he said, my nigga Vanilla Ice, Ice Baby, that's my nigga. But imagine if that shit and the bullets is still reversed. Like, it's man, you gotta turn a gun around and shoot that bitch this way instead of pulling the trigger this way. You gotta so that you don't get your shit shot. But man, it's it's just crazy. I, I feel the vibes. I like this shit. His fabulous ways, low soul, they hit Mr. Nice, and they even shot up Vanilla Ice, nine times, yeah, they nearly took 50, Little Wayne shot himself, huh, so silly, nearly, hey, I like that, he put it another top 10 all the time, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, 50 Cent, I like it, my nigga, 50 Cent built different, that's, that's my nigga, I recently, bro, Big bot, big guy, no French fry. He the real definition of that shit. That's what I am to him. Big guy, no French fry. What keeps you saying? But hey, fifty cent a fucking god. They nearly took fifty. Little and Wayne shot Wayne. himself. Huh? So silly. So silly. Hey, yeah, because he was younger and it's crazy. Because I don't, I don't, I listen to a lot of Lil Wayne music coming up and shit like that. And I don't remember ever Lil Wayne ever getting that detail. I forget. Wasn't it on like the Carter Five, Carter Six? I don't know. Is it a Carter Six? I don't fucking know. But whatever. It was one of those Carters. Uh, the most recent Carter he did, uh, I think it was Carter Five. But yeah, that one he had got into detail up on it. When it let it all work out, let it all work out. It was that song. I think that was it and shit like that. But he talked about it and it was like, damn, man. And he it's nearly took Roosevelt so harshly, and they nearly took the legend Bob Marley. Acons wasn't ever convicted. ODB was a part of the hit list. David Ortiz, they had his number, and they tried to undog the bounty hunter. See, so you can be good or. And they tried to un the undog the bounty hunter. Maybe like Dog the Bounty Hunter. I don't fucking know. Wait, ain't that a TV show? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just guessing this shit. But I do remember like a dude named, he was a bounty hunter and he had like long hair, long like blonde hair. He had a beard and he was like a bounty hunter. It's a TV show. But I don't know if that's who he's talking about though. I just heard Dog, Undug or Undog the Bounty Hunter. And I'm like, maybe, I don't know. Shit. Y'all tell me. And they tried to undog the bounty hunter. See, you can be good or bad for better nice. or for worse in this life, man. It's mad. Man, I, like that. I like that, bro. This is on some real ass nigga shit, though. I like that because you heard what he said. He said you can be good or bad, and that's fact. You can, hey, guns can be good or bad. It can be bad or good. Oh, we gotta flip that. It can be bad or good. It can, it can be bad or good. It can be bad or good, or it, or it can be good or bad. You know what I'm saying? It depends on how you're looking at it. How he started off the song with all of the bad shits. And then now he's getting it. Now he's poking on the good shits. Like, I like this. Like, really? Oh my god. Nigga, to some, you are dad. Guns never kill, man. That's a real fact. Guns never kill, but the person does. DMX spoke the facts. It's real stuff. He said DMX top 10 all time. Top 10 all time. Oh my goodness. He said DMX 50 Cent. And who was it he said? 
DMX, 50 Cent. Just know he said, I think he and Lil Wayne. He said three niggas that's in my top 10 all the time. I like it. I fucking love it. But um, what DM, What did he say about, what was he saying about DMX? I stopped it early because he said, guns don't kill people. People kill people or some shit like that. Um, you are dad. Guns never kill, man. That's a real fact. Guns, guns never, never kill, but the person does. Okay, yeah. Pretty much, y'all done, y'all done heard the fucking saying before, uh, Guns don't kill people, people kill people. He, that's pretty much what he's saying and shit. So he said, guns never kill a person, the person does, or some shit like that. But think about it. I get where you're coming from. Because technically, if you're saying technically, yeah, the, te the technically the gun does kill the person. But I see where you're coming from with that shit. Because if the gun is just sitting on a fucking table, ain't nobody touching the shit. The odds of that motherfucker just having a... A reaction, just like you know, y'all know it's always that one eye, like that one rare person who a uh, die every fucking fifty years, every hundred years or something like that, just because the gun accidentally went off. You never know if the gun was rigged that way. You never know, but it's it's, it's cases like that. I'm pretty sure you can find it where it ain't the person wasn't. They claim they wasn't touching the gun and they got shot by it. They wasn't. Nobody touched it. You know that's how it is. But it's always one of those cases. But like I said, that's mad. It's mad rare. But the eyes of a person actually picking up a gun and then shooting somebody, that's why he said, if you think about it, the gun ain't killing a person. Technically, it is. But if that person didn't decide to pick up that gun and then go shoot somebody with that shit, then, you know, it wouldn't have been, it, they wouldn't have been passed on. It wouldn't have been hit because it's that person who did it. I like it. I like it. Never kill, man. That's a real fact. Right. Guns never kill, but the person does. The person does. DMX spoke DMX. the fact. This is real stuff. Romeo must die. That was the sequel. Guns don't kill people. People kill people. Oh, see, look, I, I just, first of all, first of all, let me get back to my, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm a fucking god, by the way. I manifested that into the lyrics and shit like that, you know? Never heard this shit before. First time reacting to it. You know, first time listening to it, I'm, a fuck, I'm just built like that, you know what I mean? But, first of all, he said, Romeo must die. Mm, mm. Cradle to the Grave. Ain't the Cradle to the Grave the one with DMX? He's main, like he's the main character on that? I think that is it. Cradle to the Grave, because that's the top 10, top 15 movie all the time. Cradle to the Grave. But then, Romeo must die. Ain't that one? Ain't, ain't it Jet Li? I think it's Jet Li. Ain't Jet Li up on it with Aaliyah? And then, um, uh, yeah, I think... Jet Li, yeah, Romeo Must Die. But yeah, Cradle to the Grave was that shit. Romeo Must Die was cool too, but DMX, I like I told y'all, DMX is my nigga coming up, but um, fucking, I think DMX was like a fucking, wasn't he like a club owner or something like that up in Romeo Must Die? And then Cradle to the Grave was the one he was trying to get his daughter, I don't know, but bro, this shit hit, this shit hit. This nigga said, and he said something about it being a sequel. So was Cradle to the Grave created first and then Romeo Must Die? Or was which one was created first? I don't know. But I just remember I had the pack. It's a pack where it got both of the movies. got the little slash through the shit. And then it said Cradle to the Grave, Romeo Must Die. Me and my brother stayed watching that shit. Oh my does Rest DMX in peace. spoke the fact that it's real stuff. Romeo Must Die. Okay, I'm, I was about to say rest in peace to a person that was off of Romeo Must Die. But every single time I say her name, people be like, no, that wasn't, that's not her. That's not her. That's not her name. It uh, starts with an A. If this person didn't pass on, I'm sorry. But I know it was like a helicopter uh, airplane crash or something like that. Aaliyah? Because I, it's out of two people. I think it is Aaliyah. She passed on. But rest in peace, the girl who started with an A who passed away and she played on Romeo Must Die. Rest in peace, your soul, my baby. Beautiful as shit, cute as shit. Oh my goodness. He was my crush when I was younger and shit. Does DMX spoke the fact that it's real stuff? Romeo must die. And then listen, that was the listen. sequel. Guns don't kill people, people, people kill, kill people. people. I said that. Fires, AKs, I said and that. Guns. Come on now. Double barrel shotguns and the magnums. Are they good ones or are they bad ones? Matter of perspective is how you see that one. Four fires, AKs, and handguns. Double barrel shotguns and the magnums. Matter of perspective is how you see that one. Ooh, I like that look. People kill people. People kill people. For example, it's you guys with the machine guns. Oh, that was off the fucking movie. The shit. Oh, oh. Ooh, imagine see. That's why you calm down. Let me.
because I remember when he said that shit about the machine gun, y'all with the machine, bro. I, uh, which one was this? Was it off of Romeo Musda? I think it was Romeo Musda because, like I said, he was up in the. Was he up in the club? I think he was up in. The, I gotta watch it. I ain't seen it in a long time. But I remember he was up in the club, and then when when he day up in his office, I don't know, bro. It's born. I gotta watch it. Fucked up. God damn, this nigga put this shit. Magnums, are they good ones? It's like the story. Are they bad ones? Matter of perspective, it's how you see that one. Say it, my nigga. Oh. I think that was it, cause I, bro, dog. I think that was off of Romeo Must Die. That shit, this shit is legendary. I, I love it. I love it, bro. This shit, this man, official impact you did something with this one. I just want to say this. If y'all enjoyed this video, please make sure I hit that like button, comment down below. Anything y'all want, I don't even ask y'all niggas to fucking rate it no more because shit, y'all don't be rating shit anyways. But shit, this is infinity out of infinity to me. Y'all comment down below, shit. What y'all want me to react to next? I'll try my best to get it up there for y'all. It's not a guarantee though. But yeah, man, I appreciate everything. Check out all of these reactions from my boy Official Impact uh, over here to the side. I forgot to add in the song that he got my, with my boy Rez, man. I forgot to add that on, that one up in here. So shit, y'all go check that one out too. Just click Official Impact playlist and you should be able to find that reaction. But um, one thing that I do want to say is this shit was a fucking masterpiece. I love it how, like, because like, whenever I'm making songs like this, like, this, whenever you have a song called Gun Combo, right, and then your entire point in the song is to talk about you having a conversation with the gun and shit like that. Like I said, whenever I make music and I make particular songs like this, I try my best to keep it on point. Don't, not to waver off. No, don't talk about no bitches. Don't talk about no money. Don't talk. My guy, Official Impact, did that to the T, 100%. You know, not no, not talking about, not leaning over, talking about a water bottle or some shit like that. Unless a water bottle got shot, then okay, you can talk about the water bottle. But you know, I love that fact that he he took that and put it in, and kept and stayed on fucking track. He didn't jump off and then talk about some big booty bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't do that, and I, I respect that because it's a lot of people who will have a song like this, try and do it, but then they got to waver off just because they got to make it sound like you know. Hey, I respect it. That shit, that shit hard. I, I enjoyed this. No cap. This song was just amazing. He was talking to the gun. He showed the bad things and then the good things about everything. And then put the, the, the fucking homie DMX. Oh my goodness. That shit. That, I, I'm finna watch that shit. You finna make me go. I'm finna go watch it for sure. Go get that shit from the DVD thing. Hook up my DVD player. Go fucking crazy. Real shit. No cap. But hey, man. I love y'all. appreciate y'all. I got a special message for y'all. Hi there. Would you want this dumbass in there to react to any song that you want? Well, he charges $5 for any random song and $10 for personal music. So make sure y'all know that. Continue dancing, bitch nigga. Shout out my videos and don't be stingy. And please make sure I hit that subscribe button. Plus the bell so you try to get notified every single time I drop a video. Check out my new album. It's up above. If it's not up above, then it is the first link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you ever needed me, girl, I was flying to you. Told you that I loved you, girl, I wasn't lying to you.